Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Okami HD. It has been a little bit, oop, don't touch me, because I was finishing off uh, Let's Play Metal Gear Solid for anybody who watched that. Ooh, buried treasure. Buried treasure, I love you. Um, ooh, charged the wrong way. But yep, so, uh, yeah. Metal Gear Solid is all finished and done. It was pretty sweet, but yeah, it took up like uh, an entire week to do last week because, well, basically because the last part you have to do, like the last hour and a half pretty much, that you have to do um, all revolves around, uh, oh no, um, all revolves around, uh, it doesn't revolve around anything specific, just meeting, beating Metal Gear basically, but in addition to that, you have to pretty much do it all in one big long thing, so... I pretty much just made a four-parter, and, uh, yeah, so I just edited all at once, obviously, but, um, just all that rendering time and uploading time took, took some, took some time, right? Oh, what? I definitely got you, man. You know it. I hate when these, uh, I, I know I've said this in previous episodes, but those guys, when you're at a bad angle on them, they're really hard to get sometimes, just because inks them instead of, like, killing them. Well, what? No way did I use that many ink pots. Well, I guess I did. Whoa, we... Damn you. Oh, I still got his loot out. I wasn't sure what we want to do. But anyway, yeah, so now Metal Gear Solid is all done and over, so why not focus on Okami HD? Uh, if you guys remember last time, uh, we were on our way to go and consult with Tama, the pyrotechnist. However... Um, there's a few things I want to get finished here in Shinsu Field before going and talking to him. So we're going to attend to that firstly. And of those things, the first thing I want to do was A, take on that demon gate. Next I want to feed these hares. And if I was a hare, or a rabbit if you will, I would eat herbs. So that's what I'm going to feed them. Yes, munch, 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 munch. Okay, that's going to give me a nice... 10 praise, not bad. And I want to try and get this all done during night time, because at night time, uh, those little beams of light show you where chests are. And that is most useful. So we're going to hit that guy and a stray bead. Yes, we obtained another stray bead. Excellent. Just what the doctor ordered. More stray beads. Uh, that's all that really has to do with these houses. Mostly just feeding those animals, getting that stray bead behind the house. If you do happen to be doing this, we don't want to run into any of those guys. They're just going to cause me an unnecessary amount of, not pain, but just, uh, I just don't want to deal with them right now. Like, I don't get anything from beating them except for money. I guess. Ooh, rabbits. Yes, rabbits. If you remember at the end of the last episode, I bought all those uh, feed bags so that I could feed all these funny little animals. Excellent. Excellent. Now, what I'm really looking for... Oh, no, come on. Uh, don't run into him. He is no, not this. This. Yes, come on. Dig, 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 dig. And here we have another stray bead. That's right, two stray beads within like two minutes of each other. That is just fantastic. And what have we here? Why it's a clover leaf. Yes, the green beams of light are clover leaves. If you hadn't picked up on that already, I like the noise that it makes when you pick them up. I didn't even know I was going to make that. Anyway, that's really all I wanted to get done during nighttime, just because those ones are a little bit harder to find. Oh, god damn it. Okay. So I was hoping I could get that all accomplished before, because I went over this last episode, but you can't go to um, Tama's house um, while it's still daytime. So that's a, that's a nighttime sort of thing. So I guess in the meantime, I'll just... Whoa, why are you running away from me, horse? I'm trying to feed you. I think horses would like herbs, too. If I was a horse, that's what I would give them. Yes. Wow, he's so huge. Look at him. He's probably eating all kinds of herbs. They're going to give me so much praise. Those things are massive. Uh, not that much. Four each. That's better than any other animal so far. Except for maybe the dog. I think the dog gave me five. Um, that aside, what I really came over here to do was... So if you go behind here, there's another one. At nighttime, obviously, there will be a beam of light down here, but we can also just look for the little 
uh, ring that's on top of the chest pokes out during the daytime. And what? It is another stray bead. So yes, we're getting stray beads like mad right now. What is this? Ooh, a Chinese cabbage. Oh, that's on the simple side. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Chinese cabbage doesn't taste like much by itself. Hmm, potato. Also a little simple. <laughs> Dry but satisfyingly flavorful. I don't know about that. Don't get me wrong, I like potatoes. You consumed cabbage. Oh, not Chinese cabbage, eh? Thick and fibrous vegetable. Oh yeah, fiber's good. You gotta get all that fiber in your daily diet. And the pig's gonna feed you as well. Mm, I'm gonna give those pigs some seeds. I don't know why, but I feel like pigs are like that. Yeah, get up in there, you pig. You dirty pig. Alright. That's all I really need to, to do over here. Last time we went in the dojo and talked to that guy. and He's basically, he can teach us new fighting techniques, but like I said last time, I'm not really interested in doing that right now. Um, because, well, it costs money. Money that I don't have. No, oh, don't run into him. Okay, and we're gonna go down here, down this funny path into this very epic-looking archway. And if we just hang a right, jump up here, and we see another ring poking out. So we dig it up, and what's in there? Why, another stray bead. We're just getting stray beads left, right, and center here. It's pretty fantastic, if you ask me. You know what, while we're down here, we're gonna bloom these trees. I don't know why that didn't bloom that tree. Probably had like the slightest break. What? No, man. Bloom. Why won't you bloom? Maybe these trees are unbloomable. Maybe I've lost my blooming touch. Can I... Can I not bloom these? Okay, yeah, I t What? Why aren't you blooming? Maybe this tree just sucks at blooming. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We always just at a bad angle or something. I dropped some fruit. I might as well get that. Fill up my astral pouch. Because why not, right? Because why not? Anyway, we'll be coming back down here in a bit. Actually, no. I'm going to take care of this right here, right now. Go in here. This little house-looking thing. We'll talk to this crazy-looking guy. What's he doing over there? Just waving a stick. Let's see what he has to say. Mika. Oh, dear me. Dear me. This is awful. Priest of the Moon Shrine. Mika. Ah, a most welcome guest has wandered into our shrine. Your timing is immaculate, Wolf. I need to speak to you. Outside is Lake Harami, Nihon's largest lake. In the middle of it, there was an old shrine called the Moon Cave. But it's completely disappeared, vanished into thin air. It enshrines the wicked demon that Nagi and Shiranui once defeated. It housed Sukiyomi, the fabled sword that keeps the demon at bay. That demon, its name was... No, I'll be cursed if I say it like Voldemort, man. Anyway, the point is, what on earth has happened to the shrine? It's guarded day and night by the Tao Master, Waka. On the one occasion he has to go back to the city, this happens. Oh, dear. Well, he's still got something to say. Lately, there's been monsters haunting these parts as well. Those mischief-making monsters are the worst. I expect this is their doing. Well, maybe not this time. But they still need to be dealt with. I've already prepared a wanted list for them. Okay, sweet. So he's giving us basically a hit list. Uh, so we are now a hitman. The gods will have marked all those wanted monsters with a sign. You'll know them as soon as you lay eyes on them. However, they're very cautious. They only come out at night. Will you go out and put this list somewhere obvious, Wolf? I'm sure some brave soul will step up to the challenge. You obtained Mika's monster notebook. Sweet. May the gods protect you always. Well, I am a god, so I'm I'm pretty pretty well off in that regard, man. Yeah, this is a sweet job. I mean, we're killing monsters already. We're gonna run into them whether we like it or not. Very true, man. We, we're we're running the monsters anyhow. So yeah, we might as well we might as well collect a reward for it. Bam. I didn't do it. Oh, give me some oranges. Yeah, this guy looks like a freaking... Uh, I wouldn't say a tool, but he looks like some kind of weirdo. That's for sure. Excellent. And that triggers it into night, which is awesome. Akuzo the interloper appeared. Alright, you interloper. That makes me think of, like, Elmer Fudd or... 
I feel like, yeah, he's got an exercising arrow stuck in him. That's how you tell that they're, um, basically on the hit list. Do, 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 do. Other than that, though, they're just, like, your everyday monster. There's nothing too special about them. Ooh, I don't know if I can get him in on that side. Let's see if I did. If I got him his loot. No, I didn't. I didn't think I was going to be able to get him on there. He was too far off the screen. Yeah, you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. Yeah. You're not going to be interloping anything anymore, are you? Now you're in two pieces. Okay. Excellent. Double cherry tree. Just what I like to see, baby. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that was one of those monsters. And we just happened to find it as soon as we stepped out the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, let's check it out. So that was, uh, who did we find here? Akuzo the Interloper. Okay, Akuzo. Let's see if I can get a straight line. Uh, that was pretty straight, actually. Oh, yeah, it just draws an even straighter line. That's one less monster. Yep. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go see if he goes... Ooh, a coin. Got a reward for us, man. Give me my due reward. Nope, nope, yes. Oh, hello, Wolf. You're still carrying out that wanted list. You showed Mike's monster notebook. What? None of the names here were crossed out before. I thought I'd be sensing less mischief recently. So who have you been dealing with them? Surely it wasn't you. Oh, you foolish priest in your gigantic sleeves. No, how ridiculous of me. A wolf couldn't take them on. Who on earth was it then? So you're just not going to give me a reward? I'll talk to you again. You're not really taking on the mischief makers, are you? You wolves might be gods of the forest, but they're tough adversaries. You know those monsters. Be careful. I guess he's not going to give me a reward. Yeah, you clown. Yeah, the things I do for you people. God damn it. Ah, well. At least it made it into nighttime, which is actually really what I wanted. So I'm going to go... Oh, no! That was horrible. I thought for sure I'd be able to make that gap, but it wouldn't even let me try. It just stopped me dead in my tracks, and I'm caught up on something and I lost... Oh, no. That was a complete and utter fail right there. Okay. Well, now that I know that I can't jump over that gap, I thought I could, but... It's no dice. So I'm just going to have to... Oh, God, I don't want to run into those guys. They're just unnecessary battles at this point in time. So it's... Now that it's finally nighttime again, we can go and talk to Tama, the pyrotechnist, and see what he has to say. Oh, I don't... Oh, my God, these guys are everywhere at night. Ah, run! Haha. -ha. Can't catch me. Ooh, there's a frickin' chest right beside him, but it's unfortunately covered by a pile of leaves. Hmm. I'm gonna examine this thing. Yeah, it does look like a design for fireworks. It's rather bizarre, though. Yeah, I don't know. It might work. There's a lot of bombs, and their fuses are lit. I'm a little worried right now. I feel like this whole place is going to explode any moment. It's kind of weird. He's just sitting around with a bunch of bombs with their fuses lit. No, no, no! That can't be right. It shouldn't be doing that. No. You're probably right, man. No, no, no. I checked and double-checked my formula. Okay, well, he's still got that green arrow, so we're going to keep talking to him. No, no, no! Hey, you, you got a minute? Hmm, whoa, what's this little wisp doing here? Hey, who are you calling a wisp? I'm East from the Modern Artist. Ah, I like wisp better. Makes me think of like a wispy beard. Well, 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 you're a little ball of fire, aren't you? I'm Tama. Tama the Flaming Pyrotechnist, that's what they call me. <laughs> you got like a belt of dynamite. Listen up, you two. I'm just about to set off on a humdinger of a doozy. Take a look at that formula I posted on the wall there. Oh yeah, it's a pretty nice formula, dude. It looks devastating. My whole career as a pyrotechnist has led to that formula, friends. It's for a little firework I've dubbed the Midnight Wonder Boy. Ooh, I like the sound of that. There's only one problem. Even though I know the formula is sound, it's not working right yet. I know. Listen, pup. You've got a good. You've got good eyes. Fiery eyes. Smoldering eyes. Maybe a red hot glare is just what I need to set this off. Feast your eyes on the greatest display the world has ever seen. Hold on to your hats, kids. Here I go. 
Oh boy, it looks like we're in for a treat. The brightest constellation in the sky, the Midnight Wonder Boy. Wow, this thing's gonna seems pretty massive. I like his glasses. They're pretty funny looking. His, <laughs> his hat's a fuse. Oh man, this looks this dude's serious. Okay, so we're gonna want to draw that thing that was on the wall. So it's basically like a circle like that, and then it's got a little fuse coming out there. And now it's a bomb. And kaboom! That's pretty sweet. Ooh, a deer. A butterfly. Holy smokes! Yeah, no kidding. That's awesome, man. I love fireworks. That time we have a few screws loose, but boy, can he deliver. Huh? Oh, that light again. Oh, another constellation, eh? Just what we need. Okay, so the obvious places for dots, once again, are right here, and right here. Although, oh yes, looks to me like it's a uh, pig on a bomb. Bomb pig. There's a little, little piglets running after him, two little bomb piglets. Those guys are funny looking. <laughs> what a mess. He's a frickin' wreck. Uh, I'm a Tarasu origin, all that is good and mother to us all. Too often it is easy to forget that which we cannot see. Mm, very true. Hidden away, I lost track of you, but now my soul it has ease. I, Bakugami, god of explosive force, lend my power to your cause. Use the cherry bomb to lay waste to foes and obstacles alike. I like those little flaming piglets. They look... What do they have in their mouth? They got like dynamite in them? <laughs> That's funny. Yep. Yeah, man. That's number five. I think number five. Four? Five? Yes, the cherry bomb. Yeah, let's give it a little go. Hmm. That does look like a crack that could be bombed. Be careful. Mm, nah. I'm a reckless wolf. I'm gonna just go into it. So basically, yeah, you just do it like it. It looks like a bomb. And yes, now the bomb's gonna roll into it, I hope. Or do we have to roll it into it? I don't know. What? What? I, I did put it right in front of the cracked wall. I don't even... I don't even know what this thing wants from me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I guess it just kind of... I don't know why it dropped so far away from it that time, but... Second time did it. It blasted that cracked wall to smithereens. That cherry bomb is one destructive technique. I mean, just think what it could do to monsters. It's gonna be tricky handling something that powerful, but I bet you'll be using it. Yeah, maybe. I don't actually use it in battle that much. I just never really, I mean, maybe it is super useful, but I just never really got into it. Ah, and we earned the trophy, Bakugami. And the rat statue, sweet. One of the 13 Zodiac treasures. It is posed whimsically. That's a good word, whimsically. Whimsically, I guess. Or I don't even know. Okay, so yeah, that's basically all we had to do with Tama. Uh, we can't get to that chest yet, unfortunately. Um, that was pointless. I'm gonna go inside here and see if he has anything else to say. I really don't think he does. No, he doesn't. He's just frickin' blowing out, man. Yeah, he's burned out. Yeah, and uh, he's... That, that fireworks show, yeah, that was everything he had. He truly did give it his all. Okay, now that we're done here, we can... No, I don't want to run into you. Aw, oh, goddammit. You know, let's try this Let's try this bomb thing out. It's not really going to work, I don't think, but hey, why not, right? Oh, I guess it killed that guy. Cool. Alright, these fish guys, you know what we did last time. Uh, just jump him in the air. Yeah, you. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you at all, because you do that. And I'm pretty sure that's supposed to hurt me, but it didn't last time, and it didn't this time either, so... God, run away. What if I slash him while he's on me? No. Perfect. I guess that's what you do. Probably should have known that, but, you know. You tend to forget things over time. Like I said, I haven't really played this game since it was initially released for the PlayStation 2. Although it was released very late in the PlayStation 2's life. And I gotta say... Like I've said before, it looks way better on the PlayStation 3, so that's cool. Also, yeah, this guy, he's just gonna run around. He's the guy who gave, ooh, don't you even touch me. 
Uh, same guy who we gave all that um, fun Traveler's Charm to. Boars. I'm going to give you Boars some seeds. Yeah, munch up. Munch up a little. Okay, how much praise you got for me, boy? Fifteen, that's pretty good. But what I really came over here to do was to examine this sign. Yeah, it used to be a ferry that runs into there, but the water level's a little low right now, so it's out of service. And in here, and it's going to just tell us about feeding. I don't want to read this because obviously we already know about feeding. So what's the point, right? What's the frickin' point? And I'm just going to heal this patch of grass because it's all ugly. And that's probably not doing it anything. No, i got to get a better view here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, plant that grass. Plant it good. What? Oh my god. This is probably like, it's the most simple brush stroke, but at the same time, I just have so many issues with it. I don't know why. Excellent. And that looks like the perfect place for a bomb. Does it not? I think it does. Bam, and here we have a chest. And in this chest, we obtain a coral fragment. A hunk of coral said to have been brought from the Dragon Palace. So yeah, those treasures, of course, like I've said before, you just sell those guys. They're not going to do you any good. The only things that really do you any good are stray beads. And it is now daytime again. Although I feel like mm, I've probably missed a couple treasures on Shinsu Field here. I'm not really going to take too much time to get them. If I happen to come across them, that's awesome. If not, um, you know what? The stray beads are really all that we needed to get in here. What's... Oh yeah, I guess I should talk about what I'm actually doing, not stray beads. Um, so yes, this is the Moon Cave entrance. If you recall this area from the opening cutscene. It's pretty nice music. In, well, not nice music, but it's cool music in here. Huh? We passed around the Shrine Gate and followed the narrow path. So where the heck's the Moon Cave? It should be right here. Hey, what's with that big old mountain over there? Yeah, it's not a good looking mountain. Yeah. Yeah, this is the cave where Nagi slew the legendary beast, but that huge mountain is way too big for the Moon Cave, I remember. Uh, yeah, look at it. It's pretty massive. Yeah, I guess we can try and see what's over there. Well, I don't like that big portal looking cloud over top of it. It looks evil. Real evil. But, let's check it out. It's really sad music in here, actually. Everything's all dead. I can't even bloom this area. It's dead beyond repair at the moment. And... Bah! Youch! What the heck? Yeah, some kind of barrier. Mm. Okay, so we'd be better off staying away from this thing. Bah! Yeah, we should stay away from that. Yeah, it actually hurts me. That's a serious barrier. Barrier means business. So yeah, obviously, we're not supposed to be here yet. I thought I saw something up here. Clearly I didn't. Um, yep, so basically all we wanted to do in this area was establish that we're not supposed to be here. God, that's such a cool shrine. I love Japanese architecture. It's so beautiful, especially... Um, more medieval Japanese architecture. It's just uh, so nice, man. So nice. One day, one day I'll go check it out. I hope. Well, Amy, I think we'd seen about all there is here to see in Shinsu Field. Maybe it's time we check back on Sakuya in Kamiki Village. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, man. And it's just about time we uh, end this episode, anyway. Getting pretty late. Actually, I'm not even going to go back to Kamiki Village right this second. I'm just going to go back to my favorite save point over the past few episodes and uh, go and save my game there. And then, the very first thing next episode, we will go and uh, check out what's how things are hanging in Kamiki Village now that we've saved this area. And save point. Yes, save for me. Oh, it looks so nice in that field. I'm jealous, man. So, like, if anybody is watching any of my other videos, they've probably heard me say before that I live in Winnipeg, which is uh, one of the coldest cities in Canada. Probably the coldest major city in Canada. And, good God, is it ever cold today. Right now, outside, it's... I'm going to say the degrees in, in centigrade. Any people watching this in the States may not understand the conversion here, but, um... It's minus 40 
one or more minus, minus 43 degrees centigrade with the um, uh, wind chill, uh, which basically means that right now, tonight, uh, if you're outside, your s exposed skin will freeze in seven minutes. Seven minutes, that's all it takes. And you'll get frostbite. Doesn't that sound horrible? Anybody who's watching this who lives in like the more southern areas, that it's all nice and warm, I'm jealous of you because it is frickin' cold out right now and it was just miserable today walking around the university campus. It was so cold. Anyway, I'm sure you guys have heard enough of my blabbering about the cold temperature. So, I will bid you adieu. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Let's Play Okami HD. And I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good night.